Okay, so as the first experiment, we're gonna drop from the same stationary level platform, right? It's gonna be the same reference frame, only the top of the reference frame is gonna be the bottom of this two by six right here. And the bottom of the reference frame is gonna be where the level is, right here. This is gonna be the bottom of the reference frame. So this is 92 inches, this post. So we're gonna go up to 46 inches, which is right there on both sides. I've marked it 46 inches, so it's dead center. If you don't believe me, I'll measure it in front of you. This is level. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's pretty fucking close. My platform, my platform is pretty level. I know that's level. I built it level. So I think we're all set. We're gonna tie this string across for the ding-a-lings. The string-a-ling, ding-a-lings. The ding-dong, the ding-dong show you them and uh, potato rock the elevator club. And we're gonna drop some some other things. I've decided to up the game a little bit, Dell. Make it a little bit more colorful for you. I like a rainbow. <laughs> We're just setting up. Here's what we got going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready, Dell? We're going to crack your nut right here. Right here, lad. We're going to crack the nut. The nut, the mental fucking uh, delusion that we're rising upwards okay so my last experiment i demonstrated weights do in fact maintain their weights in free fall right uh, there yes yeah, different objects fall at different speeds right so we'll give you the numbers too if you need them uh but this is i'm pretty much set up here i'm excited today's the day dell and his minions have been in all the chats uh phuket word this is for you buddy banner this is for you fpv all the people with right intellectual honesty and uh that are actually seeking uh what's going on in this true reality so i'm about to demonstrate what's going on and it ain't going up fuck you dell ready boys let's do this so what we have here is not only a failure to communicate but a failure to create uh uh a real life experiment so we're gonna end dell where it all started buddy with your fucking uh we soccer ball in my garden, right? You and your, you and your shillium, you and shillium, and uh, the final shillwellium experiment can suck. You know what? So we're gonna drop a soccer ball and a couple surprise items. You know, um, it's gonna be dangerous for you, Dell. I don't know if you want to watch this. <laughs> Uh, oh. Jesus Christ, another, oh, I'm about to shit that in another beach pit, I think, Bill. Oh, oh, holy shit, holy shit, a beach pit, amigos. Holy shit, amigos, we got a beach pit here. So, we're going to drop a soccer ball. And we're going to drop the peach pit because the soccer ball's got sort of density and buoyancy, very similar size to the balloons, right? So I have to keep this, uh, you know, my experiment, uh, like I can't, like using a rock would be a false equivalency, you know, because a rock isn't filled with air, right? This soccer ball is not fully filled with air. Uh, it's a little soft like Dell's fucking dick. Right? It's soft like Del's dick. Like, remember his, his first soccer ball experiment in the garden? We're going to pour some water on that with our last experiment. You'll see, Del. I'm saving that one for the last, the last straw. The last, not straw man, Del. The last straw. I don't do straw man experiments and, experiments and false equivalencies like you fucks. Because that's what you have to do because, you know, what you're showing isn't fucking reality, is it, boys? Just saying. Let's do this, man. End of Rising Earth. First experiment. Hold up. Hold, hold the show. Hold the show, amigos. We gotta, we gotta smoke first.
just suck this in guys just like a nice fucking doobie just suck in this this glorious moment it's gonna be glorious there's no other word for it like strawberry OG OG I'll be your huckleberry I know you executed a plan lads executed a plan I'm about to execute a plan too, my own. Yeah, because you guys are all full of shite. Grifting little fucking greasy fucks. Here we go, let's do this. Here we go. Let's put an end to the fantasy of the rising earth, right? The only thing Risendell is gonna be my cock after this experiment. Strong, victorious like a Viking. And if you think I'm kidding, lad, how about how about this? I don't just have a bulge in my fucking pants, Del, because I got a big cock, right? You got a big talk and a small cock, right? Let's see who walks the walk, because let me let me show you something here, right? There's twenty-five hundred dollar bills, right? Twenty-five hundred dollar bills, motherfucker, right? You see? It's hundreds. All hundreds. Twenty-five of them. Right? That you just grifted from people. Right? I'll put this money up if you put your fucking mouth in a cage with me. Because I'd, I'd love to rearrange it. I'll be there in 12 hours. Anytime. I'm ready. I don't have to train. I'm in better shape now than I was when I was doing security. I'm like 20 pounds lighter and a lot fucking faster, Del. I walk 5 to 10 kilometers every day with my dog. Right? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on, lad. Put your money up. Put your money up, lad. We'll let David Banner hold the money. Hey, Banner. Oh, this is how it's going to go, amigo. We'll send David Banner the money. I'll, I'll e-transfer Banner. <laughs> no, I will. I will. David knows I will. Anyone that knows me. I just showed you the wad. I'll show you my cock, too, if you want, buddy. I will. I'll show it to you. Don't worry. We're gonna show you how the earth rises after this last experiment, buddy. Oh yeah. It's gonna be climactic, the results. Oh. Oh. Cause Del, when I start swinging these, you see what's on my hand? You're gonna wish you were fucking dead, lad. You're gonna wish. You see the size of my fucking fist, lad? It ain't weed like your dick, right? It's like the hammer of fucking Thor. Thor. Just, just listen to his fucking music, man. This guy's fucking crazy. Fucking loco. Local man, like a fucking berserker Viking, you know, they, they, uh, they, yeah, I think that's what they call them, dog berserkers. They're fucking crazy, they pop mushrooms going, holy shit, that's what Emerald did on it to make his first song. He did a bunch of mushrooms and went berserkers. Holy fuck, though, fuck with that guy. I mean, like, dude, his, his, he's like fucking crazy, crazy, man. Like, have you heard his fucking music, Del? He's like fucking Viking or some fucking shit, right? His mom's like fucking warrior tribe from North America, like fucking, like native killers and shit. Like bush people, Del. Emerald grew up in the bush, right here, in this bush. Like, you see the mountain, the bush? That's where, just over there, actually. Those, that bush over there is where, uh, where Emerald, Emerald was fucking born, man. He's a bushman, Northman. Fucking strong, eh? Long line of big cocks. Long line of big cocks. Fuck me, Del. What the fuck? Del, what I'm saying is, even that fucker's music scares me. It's fucking weird, creepy shit, buddy. Go check it out. You might want to think about fighting this fucking guy. <laughs> so, so this is how it's gonna go, Bendejo. 
You're not my amigo. You're what we call in Mexico a bendejo. Look it up, bendejo. There's another word I won't say because it's really nasty. But I'll say that to you as I'm fucking choking you out in the fucking cage. I'll tell you the word that I've been holding for you, motherfucker. Turds the word for fucking rising earth. Turds the word. You want to see my bird? Turd. So, this is how it's going to go. Turd. Turd. Del turd. Because you're kind of del turded. Like a monk. This is how you're going to feel what I fucking kick you in the fucking chops with size 13 as you go down right and I'm on top of you fucking hammering you fucking fuck <sighs> okay that's how easy it comes out of me Del that's about how long the fight's gonna last to be honest I haven't lasted much longer in a fight in my life to be honest I'm just saying much longer than that they pushed me from the green belt all the way up to the black belt because nobody could fucking beat me. I was a fucking destroyer. So, we're going to e-transfer the money to David Banner, right? Within 12 hours from this fucking video, I want to see $2,500 that you fucking grifted from fucking good, hardworking people, right? In David Banner's fucking e-transfer, right? As soon as your fucking money's in, Mine will be in 10 seconds later, motherfucker. I promise. So, son, this is where it's gonna happen. You hear me? Cause you're gonna talk like a big crooked after. I'm just, just saying. It's gonna happen in uh, Bannerville. And I'm gonna show you what the real Hulk can do. Yep, cause that's what Emerald is. The Hulk is green. And fucking me. Me, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking headbutt you fucking first. I'm gonna fucking uppercuts, uppercuts, then uppercuts, and then <coughs> headbutt. You see? Get ready, motherfucker. The bull is coming to the tiny shop. The tiny dick shop. Hey, Doug. Did you fucking hear that guy, Emerald? You really wanna fuck with that guy, man? Fuck me. Fuck me, Del. Okay. Welcome to Stationary Earth 101. Natural Science with Emerald Rider. Fuck you, Gobies. Okay, lads. Are you ready for some natural science with Emerald and his whiteboard? Okay. So, we've already demonstrated. Let's see if I can get it out of the light. We've already demonstrated that, uh, I've already demonstrated in a reference frame. Okay, with a center point. That's your center point. And there's your reference frame. Right? It's not imaginary. None of my stuff is imaginary like Dell's. Right? So we drop two objects of different weights, densities, and buoyancy right here. This object, which is filled with air like Dell's head, and this potato rock, which Dell's gonna have a shite when he sees the results of this, this experiment, because the, he obviously still hasn't got it yet, that a rock, even a small, that's about the size of Dell's erect penis, we call it a Bic lighter here in Canada, so I'm gonna design a line of Bic lighters called BTIC. B-Tick lighters. B-Tick lighter for the gaslighting piece of shit you are. That's my name. 
Project, another really good channel to I highly suggest you check out guys and Phuket Word I'm doing this for Nick as well right I see your mongs in his chat too beyond belief you're fucking unbelievable you fucking trolling gimp right just gaslighting all over the place aren't you lads well I'm here to snuff your fucking flames once and for all right and anyone can do it what I just showed you density matters buoyancy matters weight matters in free fall it doesn't magically imaginarily like his imaginary uh, beyond the curve channel disappear right so I demonstrated how two objects one dense and one buoyant dense like Dell like Dell dumb right uh, and the results were clearly in the rocks favor density matters weight matters in free fall or a fucking parachute won't open end up right nice one banner so in today's experiment Dell pay attention fucktards pay attention lads pay attention lads Emerald's gonna school you on reality true reality okay so today's experiment I've already showed you the layout so we've got a level surface right and we've got a reference frame once again right right we got a reference frame and a center line okay or point and uh, a level surface right because we all know the true ground is not a perfectly level but overall it is the only true way to me measure level is with with is with water right okay so these okay this is Dell's this is the rising earth fantasy okay rising earth rising fantasy we'll just call it a fantasy because that's not what earth is see fantasy right you get it okay so these fantasists right are saying that we have an upwards vector right the earth is earth is moving at a constant well first they say accelerating diesel well they got they twist words they twist everything as you can see in their daily lives the way they behave and act and they twist and invert everything but I'm here to untwist it and tell you guys how it is, the truth. And how it, this can only be one of two ways. Either it's rising or it's stationary with this experiment I'm about to show you and explain it to you uh, with my magic whiteboard here, Dell. In honor of Phuket Word, the man who uses the whiteboard with real intelligence, right? You use it like a coloring book because you're fucking stupid. No, I know you're not stupid. You're just on task, right? You're deceptive, not stupid far from stupid okay so this is the upwards vector vector okay upwards so uh, do we have something I'll use this okay so my experiment is going to be with a helium balloon not in a fucking van in, in an open atmosphere like we live in Dell not a false equivalency right a direct representation how a liquid gas is uh, weights and densities buoyancies all react with these two experiments I'm covering the whole thing the first one I destroyed your weightlessness right fantasy this one I'm going to destroy all your fuckers rising earth fantasy okay pay attention right because it can only be one of two ways so in the upwards vector they, they claim the earth this is the earth this is the earth not Dell's rising fantasy the earth is here right it's tangible it's testable. It's stationary, right? Stationary. Stationary. Earth. And I'm about to fucking prove that. With a simple test, any of y'all can reproduce. Just like my first set of tests, right? And I, I test different mediums and, and objects to, to just to be fair to the fucks, right? I don't have to. The, the one test, the first test destroys it. And it's, it, you're going to love that one, Dell. Wait till you see what I test first, Dell. Wait till you see that. 
Okay, against the balloon. Okay, so here we have a, a buoyant object that's moving with the natural upwards vector. So zero, zero resistance, right? Zero, okay? As it's moving upwards, right? It's lighter than the air, okay? It's less dense than the air, okay? On the other side of the line, we're gonna drop an object with very similar circumference, right? Not a volume of gas, but a volume of air, right? So density is not, um, it's, it's an object that's actually more dense than the air. So this object's going to be less dense than the air in reality, that's why it rises. And this object's gonna be more dense, right? More dense. And it's gonna go in the downwards vector, which these fucktards say doesn't exist. They're saying this is uh, D, D acceleration. D acceleration down, 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 right? That's what they're claiming, right? So the object I'm going to drop is, a, is, a, is a obviously more dense and it's going to have resistance because of the upwards motion, you see? It's gonna have resistance, right? They're the same shape, basically, objects, so I'm being fair in my, uh, I'm not using false equivalencies in objects or, or logic, like Brian's logic does the same, you know, guys like us that have a brain. Uh, 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 pay attention guys, shitheads. Shilliam, are you paying attention, Shilliam? And that fucking, what's that, Yashi Macha Fortu? Right, that Beta, Beta Yachi? Pay attention, are you gonna share my experiment? I hope you share my experiment, you motherfucker. So, okay, so, the solid object, the more dense object is going down. Therefore, which object do you expect to reach the reference frame. So the experiment is I'm releasing from the center point, right, which I've showed you, right, two objects, less dense, basically zero, <laughs> zero density pretty much, and, and density, right? At the same time, as best I can, I'm doing it three times to avoid human error, right? I'm doing all, everything I can to avoid human error. That's why with the drop test, I switched hands and back and forth and uh, it was all live, un uninterrupted, unedited footage like this is, from start to finish, right? Well, this, I, this is, yeah, okay. Unbelievable, really, that I have to do this. But I have to do this, for everybody's sake. Because these guys are fucked. So the Earth is rising, and this object is coming towards a rising object. This object is going with the flow of a rising object quote-unquote earth right which one should reach should the, the the reference frame the end of the destination first right I know which one will do you right okay so this is one scenario this is their fantasy 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 right rising earth rising earth fantasy right this is fantasy I'm describing right because it's not what we experience in reality, and, I, and I'll, I will demonstrate how and why we're not, right? So, therefore, this object must, as it's decelerating, not falling, according to these fucktards, they, Dell says it decelerates to impact the Earth right here. Boom. There's the impact. This one will pass through into the heavens above, gloriously. As the champion, when I do, when I show you the results of this, the fucking rising earth tards will try to say they're trying to say this object will impact sooner than this one with their logic. They're not saying that, but with their logic, they are, which they're too stupid to figure out, right? So this, I, so this should, in theory, if the earth is rising, this object, when I release both of them, this object in the downwards vector that does exist, uh, which they claim doesn't, should impact this somewhere in here. Somewhere in here, as the Earth is rising up. Remember, the Earth is coming up, right, to meet the object. So that's going to take 
This one's going with the Earth and the whole reference frame with these fucking dummies, right? Because don't, we don't know what the, the reference frame is yet, but I'm just assuming, right? So, all assumptions aside, I'm just trying to, 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 to break it down to a, a tangible reference frame, right? So, with my tangible reference frame, and we are enclosed, let's just say, right? I'm, I'm going both ways. So, if it's open, the whole thing is moving up, right? So, this is constantly, it'll really, should never really, in their fucking stupid theory, reach the top of this fucking reference frame, should it? Right? If it's constantly moving with the flow of the earth, under zero resistance, right? It'll just in, keep increasing in speed, keep increasing, right? Which it does, but not because of this, right? It does because of buoyancy and density, right? Dumbasses, right? But anyway, that buoyancy and density will demonstrate uh, equal, like an equilibrium with the rising earth, because we don't know what the speed is, do we? Fuck turds. You won't tell us that. So, uh, therefore, this one should impact around here, right? Logic, common sense tells us this, right? And this one, it's, when this rises to here, this will be up here, you see? So this object is constantly ex accelerating, because it will accelerate to a certain point of, of constant speed, like common sense again, right? And it can be demonstrated or it bursts in the atmosphere, explodes, right? Um, and it, it'll have a hard time catching that the top of the reference frame. Make sense? I think it does. Okay, let's let's talk about reality now. Hey Dell, hey Dell tarts, hey lads. Let's let's discuss reality in Emerald World. Hey, okay? Emerald World. I don't even want to show you this because I'm going to spoil the test results. <laughs> but I'm going to show you so. It's understandable for those that don't understand what's going on here with this fucking stu stupid rising earth. Fantasy. It's a fantasy. It's not even a theory, right? It's a moot point. Moot point, Bell. Moot point, Arthur. Pay attention, you moot point fucks. Okay. Let's go to... Oh, sorry. That that sponge wasn't entirely dry. A little wet. A little wet. A little wet behind the ears like you, Del. Let's go to Emerald's World. Emerald's World, Del. A direct reality. We'll put Earth the same place, direct our, di our direct reality. There's Earth, same thing, same scenario. Let's draw our reference frame. So this is the other, only other possible outcome of this, the final rising Earth experiment. Okay, so again, we have the, the buoyant object and the dense object like Dell. Right? Uh, and this one is going in the downward vector. The downward, this one doesn't exist, right? Uh, it's going up. Okay? It's going in the upwards vector like everything lighter than air does. So it doesn't go any other vector unless wind or a force acts upon it, right? So there's zero upwards motion here. So let's take that right out of the equation. We don't even have to talk about that, right? Because it, it's not what we experience, it's not what we feel, right? It's not what we, uh, yeah, it's not what I believe, but uh, tweets their own. So in this reference frame, the more dense object, right, is going to travel naturally in a downwards vector right because it's denser than the air the air can't support it so it's going to pass through the air right this object is less dense than the air so it's going to pass upwards through the air right which again that's just how reality works guys so this one is going to um demonstrate to you right if if this 
well let's put it this way if this one hits first with this not moving up with the earth not rising this one right what do you think is going to happen to this object is this one going to hit first this reference frame here or is it going to hit this reference frame here first at the bottom of the earth right the rising earthers claim that it has to right because of the upwards motion right i'm saying it's not it's not going to hit right because this has more resistance from here to here think about it in reality it does it has more weight more resistance right like a really heavier object like a cannonball right which would be a false equivalency ex experiment because these fucks will try everything to twist this experiment that i'm doing so dense objects are like this rock that would be a false equivalency because this rock is not filled with air, is it? Del, right? So let's let's just set some fucking first principles here with the experiment, right? Some ground rules, right? Some some fucking parameters. That is the word, right? Use objects, guys, like this. I could have used this. It's filled with air, right? Williams, Sh Williams ding dong ball. I could have used this, but I wanted to use objects of similar circumference, right? And volumes of of gases one with air one with helium right to make the experiment as close to to reality and 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 uh as it should be right does that make sense i know it does to anyone with common sense but it won't to these fuck tarts they'll try to say well fuck i did it with a fucking orange i did it with a fucking peach well i did it with a peach pit fuck tarts a dense object just just to show you that i'm pretty sure the peach pit's still gonna lose right it's gonna hit last right but in Dell's world it must hit first that's what I'm trying to demonstrate here to you fucks right you Illuminati fuck turds right you fucking Jesuit snakes gigs up so in, in Emerald's world reality right this is reality reality yes Dell suck that motherfucker suck up the reality right because i'm about to demonstrate this right then what are you going to say then fuck tards delevators fucking dummies right gigs up it's that easy i don't need like you don't even really have to do the experiment i know what's going to happen i'm just doing it to show you what's going to happen right and it should in in a stationary plane a f emotionless plane okay so like i said this dense object, it's going to hit a lot of resistance traveling from point A to point B. Point A to point B. Okay. Action.
Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. Bye. Bye now. Bye, rising earth. Goodbye. Oh no! There goes your fantasy! Oh! Into the abyss! Dell's gone into the abyss! Okay, let's make some more drop tests, guys! Strike one! Three strikes are out, Dell. We're gonna test two other objects just to be fair to these rising earth fucktards. We'll test a couple more objects. Uninterrupted footage here, guys. Hi, Dell. Next. Next item here. Next item here, Dell, for you, lad. It's a wee peach pit I shit. I, sh I excavated out for you. This is, this is the pit. This has got to be the pits for you, man. Let's do the pit. Let's do a little, this is about the size of, ah, uh, well, William's nuts are probably about half that size. Show you them. Show you them that size, okay? Wee ball sack. Okay. What color should we pick for, for Wee William? Red or purple? Red or purple? Red or purple for Shillium? Shillium probably likes purple because he's sucking the elite cocksucker. He's an elite cocksucker. We'll save the red for the blood, the final experiment. The final rising earth experiment. Okay, Shillium, are you paying attention, lad? Shillium. Are you paying attention, wee lad? Okay, wait for the wind. Wait for the wind. Wait for the wind. Okay. Ready? Come on, no wind. No wind. No wind. Come on, no wind. William, William, there goes your fantasy line. There goes your fantasy, William. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt, lad. Oh, the peach pit. The peach pit. Oh, William. You're just tumbling off into the fucking infinite space. You absolute show boy. Show William. That's the end of your rising earth fantasies. All you mongs. You fucking Jesuit fucking cocksuckers and shills. There you go. Bye, William. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Next experiment. We saved the best one for last, for for various reasons, for various reasons. You'll see. Okay, let's get the camera level with the line, level with the line, the reference frame. There you go, fucktards. 
She's good and level. She's good and level. Okay, Dell. You see that one? You ball sucker. You Jesuit ball sucker. Here we go. Here we go. The final experiment. I saved the best for last. Your fucking beloved water bottle world. And it's Canadian. It's called Finlane's Canadian Spring Water. Lad, you see that? Hope that I can focus in. Right? It's half filled with water, right? Which clearly displays that we live on a stationary level plane. It's not flat everywhere. It has hills and valleys and mountains. It's not perfectly flat. Okay? Okay, water bottle boys, here comes the blood. Ready, water bottle boys? Fantasy boys? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the final experiment? We're touching the line. We're touching the line, folks. Get ready, get shit up I gotta get this on film I got this on film thank fuck thank fuck look where it landed guys there's the soccer ball there's the soccer ball that started Dell's journey right and look where the balloon landed that busted in midair it's magic it's the gods it's the gods will it's the gods will it's the gods it's the gods it's gotta be the gods it's gotta be the gods how is this possible oh my god Dell oh my god that's what just fell out of Dell's hoop. Oh my god, he just, he just shit. He just shit blood. What? Luna, what the fuck? Thank fuck Luna's a witness. That's it. Game over, fucktards. Champions! I got so many people to thank. Alexander, Alexander, you're the first. I have to thank Alexander Usak for the mental conditioning, the mind, the mind, the mindset of a champion. Ah, oh. oh, finally, finally, stay sharing Earth is champion again. Emerald has. It's been a tough fight. It's been a tough fight, Alexander. You know? Uh, actually, this was a, a three-round fight, guys. Uh, you know, the first round was was like me kind of seeing what's going on in the ring and how this guy was fucking fighting dirty and stuff. And so I challenged him to an experiment, and I did my experiment in the first round. And then the second round, they, they came at me hard, all of them, in their chat, in, in Banner's chat. They came into Phuket's chat, Phuket Words chat. It was a tough fight, really tough fight. Oh, here comes Chief Dan, Chief Dan, Chief Dan man. Say hello to YouTube. Hey, hola. 
How'd you go? Good brother. Honey. I just destroyed the rising earthers. I just destroyed them with a flat earth experiment. Oh yeah? Yeah. How you doing, man? Good man. So let me just finish talking to my fans here. Uh, Cause I'm, I'm celebrating my victory. I just I just had the fight of a lifetime, brother. Uh, I got the world champion uh, uh, boxer from uh, uh, the Ukraine. His name is Alexander Usyk. He's doing an interview with me right now. Okay, brother. Okay, so I, uh, like I was saying, for Chief Dan, he's he's uh, from the Bay's Flat Reservation. A na my native brother, good good guy. Uh, some of you know I talked about him before, but he's on uh, my new album. He's a feature uh, artist, one of the artists featured on my album uh, called Fenris Rising, right? Because Fenris fucking rising, brother. Emeralds rising, and the Earth's not fucking rising. No sir, no sir, Bob. No sir, Bob's your uncle now. Bob's your fucking uncle now, brother. Woo! Did you see? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. So I'd like to thank, uh, you know, like I said, it was a tough fight. Uh, the first round was touch and go, but I think uh, everyone fully understand who won that first round, uh, that weight does exist in reality, right? You don't need upwards motion. I demonstrated that so clearly, so clearly, so clearly, that they, it made their baggy hoops melt and come back for round another round in Banner's chat today, which I missed, right? They, they, they run like scurry like like fucking mice in the chat, like rats, they are. All through the chat, just spreading the rat chat. It's called rat chat. Rat chat time with with, with Beyond beyond Belief and Dell. Rat chat time and Exocrete, you know? Oh, oh, ex oh, I can't even say that word without wanting to shit. Holy fuck, that guy's creepy. Drifting, creepy cocksucker. And Beyond Belief is in chat today. e begging. Graham, Graham, what? Graham, Graham. Well, I showed you where the money is right now, boy. The money's in Emerald Rider. Put your money on Emerald Rider, boys. Because I'll show you reality. Direct reality. Anyway, uh, back to, uh, sorry, sorry, Alexander. I get, I get in these rants, my friend. I'm just full of, I'm just so full of emotion right now. It's been a fight. So round round two was in Banner's chat. I see like uh, two rounds in Banner's chat. Like that was a tough one, right? He came at me and I kept fucking driving him home, but I wasn't there today to, to help fight. So I, I had to come out fighting uh, in the third round in reality, right? Not online like these fucks. They like to fight, you know, in their fantasy, like online warriors, you know? But uh, Dom, uh, Alexander, you know, you gave me the strength to do this and be victorious. You slayed the giant, the fucking with uh, more bush than cock. What's his name? I even forget his name. Tyson Fury or something? Like Fury? Tyson No Fury? Yeah, he's another Jesuit. Baby Jesus loving cocksucker. He's thanked his baby Jesus, didn't he? Didn't he, Alexander? Oh, sorry. Uh, guys, uh, yeah, the third round is about to begin here. So I'm just, uh, just doing some exercising and, uh, yeah. I'm getting ready for some action here and uh, let's get this experiment uh, out to the world because round three is victory for me Del victory the proof's in my pudding boy right I showed you my receipts right I'm the champion the new champion of flat earth you and Eric can suck my bulge Suck my bulge, boys. You feel that? You feel that, Dell? Oh, yeah, you feel that, boy. You want to see it? You want to see it? I'll show it to you. I'll be your huckleberry. Yeah, but the second round, man, like, you know, he was bewildered from the first round. So he really wasn't on his game, you know? This like when I launched the balloon, you know, the uppercut, just like, just like that rising balloon, I launched a fucking massive uppercut to the, to the right there, man, right there. That's what did it. Yep, he, he just rattled. I don't know. Yeah, he'll be drinking his tea from a straw, I think, now, for a little while.
<laughs> they tried to say, you remember after Tyson Fury? T T Tyson Fury tried to say, oh, I broke his fucking jaw. Oh, sorry. I broke his fucking jaw, you know. Yeah. Alexander, two hours later. <laughs> oh, you broke my jaw, did you? So, Emily. Tell uh, uh, the people what it's like to be a champion. Well, Alexander, I'll tell you, it feels really good. It feels really good. I'm really thankful to everyone that supported me and, uh, you know, in this, this long, hard fight to prove the true shape of my reality. And, uh, I stand on top of the stationary earth right now and am thankful that I know I'm not moving and I'm thankful that I can share with the world that we're not moving. And you can do this experiment yourself, right? You know, Del, Del put up a good fight on the first round. He came in the banners, trolled me hard, you know, a few jabs here, up this side talking, side winding, he danced around. You know, but I still held him in the corner. Even at banners, I held him in the corner. I just fucking, I kept fucking driving him, right? So persistence does pay off, right? Persistence does pay off. Hard work, right? Common senses, common senses is the key to this victory. I, 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 I'm so grateful to have my common senses. Um, uh, I think they're more into baby Jesus now. Uh, uh, execrate and Dell, you know, so it doesn't, it doesn't come as a surprise, you know, my God is Thor, the hammer, I brought the hammer of justice to flat earth today, yep, this one, yep, this is what you're being doing right now, yeah, good. So I'm gonna be doing in a minute on my Victoria's cock. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really thankful. You know, you didn't. Hopefully, the camera didn't catch that. Yeah, uh, Alexander, I'd like to thank you. You're a huge inspiration to me, Alexander. Huge in this battle because it was a battle. It's been a long, hard battle, right? I've been focused on my music and my mental training, because I'm physically in pristine condition like you, Alex, you know? We're just genetically different in a lot of ways, especially below the belt, you know? I heard Tyson Fury is, he's got more fur than Fury, I hear. Just saying. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be born with above average dick and above average wits and intelligence and I'm able to discern fantasy from reality. Yes sir. Yes sir. It's a glorious day. Just breathe that in. Feel that stationary earth. Hail freedom. Oh, Emerald, I'm so happy for you. I am so happy. I, I can almost cry for you, Emerald. Because, you know, this, this big, this, this type of, these big uh, bastard bullies. Oh, yeah. I forgot the, the Uzzik eyes. These, uh, these, like, men, like, uh, Tyson Fury, they're, they, uh, they bullies, they bullies, right? People like Emerald and, uh, and I, we take care of the bullies. We show you who, who beat Tyson Fury. Del, 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 you want to fight Emerald? Oh boy, Adela. 
Dale, 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 dale. Get off the, get, get, get off, get the, how do you say, get the, the fuck? Off the, 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 the elevator. You see, dog, I have the power of the greatest warrior to ever step foot in the ring. I hail you, Alex Usyk Nastrovia, Nastrovia. Glory to Ukraine. Glory, glory to Emerald. Glory to Emerald. <laughs>